Hello everybody, have I got some motherboards for you. This is an X570 Aorus Master and this is... A B550 Aorus Master. Now why do I have these on the desk? What are the differences between the X570 and the B550? If you're currently staring at your screen saying, uh, the X570 is PCI Express Gen 4 across all the lanes and all the slots and all the things, and the B550 is not, congratulations, you're half right. Here's the deal. Some premium motherboards are special, and this is one of them. You are correct. The X570 is PCI Express Gen 4 across the entire board. As I turn this around, where is it? Here we go. Everything on the board, there's three M.2 slots, they're all Gen 4. The top M.2 slot runs to the CPU using the extra four lanes on the CPU, and the top X16 slot goes to the CPU as well. The second X16 slot can be used as well, but it bifurcates and it puts um, eight lanes on the top slot and then eight lanes on the middle slot. And then the bottom slot goes to the chipset. And then the bottom two M.2 slots go to the chipset, but the chipset is Gen 4, there's a fan on it. And so this entire board is Gen 4. I am now gonna put the X570 Aorus Master away because that's not what this is about. This, one. this is about the B550 Aorus Master, which is a special beast. Mm -hmm. It is a special beast. This is typically a $250 board, which is way over. You mean by X570s for cheaper than this, but this board does something special. Now, it is a B550, so it's limited in PCI Express. The chipset is PCI Express Gen 3, not Gen 4. Correct. However, like the master, the top X16 slot has 16 lanes and the top M.2 slot goes to the CPU because Ryzen CPUs have 20 lanes, 16 for the graphics card slot and four for the first M.2 slot. There are two more M.2 slots. They do not run through the chipset. This motherboard can bifurcate or split the top X16 slot. It gives eight lanes to your graphics card, and then it splits the other eight lanes into two four lanes, and it gives them to the other two M.2 slots. This is, to my knowledge, but there may be others, the only B550 that will do three M.2 Gen 4 NVMe drives at full speed, and it will do all three of them directly to the CPU, not through the chipset. But to do that, you lose half the graphics card lanes. Your yes. graphics card has eight lanes. In, now, does that matter? Not really. For, for an RX 6800 XT or a RTX uh, 3080 right now, eight lanes versus 16 doesn't matter. Especially on a Gen 4. I mean, because the lanes are twice the speed of Gen 3. So it really doesn't matter. Right. But if you keep this for five years with a Ryzen 9 5900X and you do two graphics card upgrades, three or four years from now, it might start to matter. I would submit that if you plan to go with a Ryzen 9 5900X or a Ryzen 9 5950X and you're gonna get premium high-speed Gen 4 drives and you're getting a high-end graphics card and you're thinking, I want a premium motherboard because I want it to last for a good five years. I'm okay to upgrade my graphics card. I'm okay to, to add more storage, but I want to keep my motherboard and my platform stable. You don't have the benefit of 16 lanes for your graphics card if you use them all. Correct. But if you get this one, if we go ahead and buy the X570 version, you don't have that problem. You don't have to worry. So this board typically costs $100 more than the other one. And feature-wise, they look very similar. That's kind of the hidden detail. What do you want out of your system? Now, there are other premium B550s you can buy that don't do that, and they will run the second and the third M.2 slot, if they have three, at Gen 3 speeds through the chipset, which means there'll be some contention if they're trying to both run at the same time and you got a lot of other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. 
The benefit of the X570 is you kind of remove some of those limits and you get a little bit more onboard bandwidth. How premium are you going? If you're building a $3,000 machine, get an X570. If you're building a $1,500 machine, even that B550 Oris Master might be overkill. You can get a little bit cheap. You get 150 to 200 R yes, B550, you'll be true. fine. Yep. There's so much to think about with motherboard choices. There is the little nuances. And I only know these details because I physically have both boards. Can you imagine trying to shop for this stuff by just looking at no. like new egg product and then detail pages? All the different brands. And then the different companies have like 16 different boards. Exactly. Which is why. We confused we, customers are confused. Yeah. That's why when we tell you we like something, it's because we've used it and we've used several of them. I mean, we've got MSI boards, we've got ASRock boards, we've got Azus boards, we've got, yeah. This board will be getting a Ryzen 9 5950X. Oh, my new machine. No. <laughs> yes. No. This is going on my test bench upstairs. Oh, freaking test bench wins. Wife zero, test bench one. You're getting an i9 10850K. What oh, more do you want? In your dreams. Eventually you will. Keep dreaming. It's sitting upstairs. Keep dreaming. When you build it, you'll get it. <laughs> oh, when I build it, I'll get it. There we go. Build there. it and it will come. <laughs> That's all I had to say. Okay, then.